Hi guys, Jennifer here. Welcome back to my channel. I am here to do a little bit of crafting and I wanted to show you yesterday what I did on Ivy's channel. We did a live together, her and I and Sierra. I did um, an altered envelope. I used some scraps that I had and just kind of collage this envelope and I used some Sampool Designs paper. So this is from her, I'll leave it here on the screen. And then this is uh, her Shabby Photos 2. And you know, I, you might have seen my last project with the shabby photographs and so I thought I would come back and create with the new one that she has. So these are super cute and I made a little pocket here and um, you know this was my first envelope and I would say it's kind of so-so. <laughs> um, I think I might do it a little bit different next time but I'll show, ahead, show you how I did it because it's, sometimes it's hard to see on the live channels. Let me go ahead and show you the digitals. These are so pretty. These are like from her studio. Aren't they so cute? Whoop. These are adorable. I love how she added like the I don't know if that's like a christening or baptismal dress and then this pretty dried floral wreath. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. And look at that corset with the old lace. So pretty. So if you haven't seen her digitals, you should check her out. I'll leave the link below. Oh, I love this sewing box. I wish I had that sewing box in my studio. That is so cute. And look at this pretty little shoes on that hat box with the vintage lace. So cool. And look at this little setting. It has an old door or window and dried florals and some pearls. And maybe sisters or friends, so cute. And then here is a box of fibers. That is so cool. I love that. And here's like vertical kind of, so she'll do vertical and horizontal photos. Beauty awakens the soul to act. Pretty. Here are those florals. I wish I had a waist like that. <laughs> so these are super fun to play with and I just love the feel. And I thought, you know, you could Put these inside too you know to have as um, little writing spots and you can tuck them in there and then you can also have some on the back that's why I made a little pocket and this uh, if your journal is big enough you could use this as like a floating pocket um, or you could have an envelope set and you know display your envelopes with kind of do like a stack of envelopes wouldn't that be pretty hold your pretty photos or your handwritten letters and stuff like that. So those are some options with the bigger envelopes and you can do small envelopes too. All I did was open up the envelopes so that I could collage it basically. So maybe we'll do a smaller envelope today and then we can have a little set. All right. So I covered the inside with her um, new digital, which has lots of prints of like letters and receipts and stuff like that. And so I'm going to do that. 
Okay, so I've printed a few of the papers from the French Bureau. That's her digital that has the receipts and letters, and they're all neutral colors, and there's about 17 different pages. I just printed a few, and then I printed her gorgeous snippets. If you haven't seen that one, these are so fun. Love the color palette on these. And there's a bunch more pages in this. I just printed out a few. But these would be so fun to use in the collage, any collaging or um, I think I might add this on here somehow. That would be pretty, right? And you could also print these on fabric. That would be awesome too. I still could do that actually. I do have some printable papers for fab um, fabric papers. Okay, so now the one that I did yesterday, I used this background sheet here from the French Bureau. So I'm just gonna pick one of these sheets. I think I'm gonna use the receipt on this one. That'll be pretty. And I just need to cut this down. Let's see, I want that kind of in the middle. Might have to cut it down just a little more. And I'm gonna cut this here. Don't even really need the whole thing. Now you could cover the whole thing because it will make this more sturdy. In fact, I might just add this to that just to make it more sturdy. How about that? I guess I really didn't need to cut it. realize you probably can't see down here just gonna put that on there like that and then put this one on here cut this down just a little bit more.
hope you guys are having a lovely day. And I think I'm going to cut this off a little bit, which is fine because I'm going to have a little hangover anyway. All right. And then I think what I'm going to do is just ink it up a little. Real quick. Just on that part that you're going to see there. to be honest with you because I'm going to have it all covered but we'll go ahead and just ink that anyway in case Done with that. And then we're gonna just go ahead and collage this side now. So I wanted to use kind of a base lace, if you know what I mean. And I have this cute little runner that I want to use, I think. And this will be my base for this. Okay. So yesterday I didn't put any base down and it just seems kind of flaw to me. Um, I actually, did not um, put the paper down first yesterday. <laughs> and the reason why is because of the stitching. So I stitched it yesterday and I forgot about that. So the first thing you wanna do is do your collaging and then you wanna cover your inside because then you can cover up the stitching. So that was my fault, but it'll be fine. It'll all work out. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of gluing here because this is just the base layer. And let's see, I sure do wish I had that spatula from, oh, I do, I think. Okay, got my little spatula so I don't burn myself. Now you don't have to do this. I just wanted to have um, a base layer on there. So it doesn't have to be anything special, but this is just showed up in my area and I thought, perfect. <laughs> my area, my desk area, I mean. All right, so let me go ahead and do this more strategically. Play around with that and then what we'll do is we'll cut this excess off I should use my fabric scissors that would be smarter
now we have this base here. So I literally pulled stuff out of the scrap drawer and I'm just gonna start collaging it. Yesterday I did use like pieces of lace that I cut and stuff like that, which can be pretty too. Let me see how that will look when you hold it down. No, I don't like that. All right. I might not want to collage anything on the sides here. I might just do this part and then this part. So we'll do that. I don't usually use hot glue, but I thought this would make it a lot easier for today. Maybe. <laughs> Excuse me. So I guess uh, Susan asked me if, so this is for you, Susan, because she couldn't see too well on Ivy's channel. It is a little bit difficult when you have like more than two people on the screen um, to see what they're working on, you know. But So you can see a little bit of glue there, but I can cover that with, you know, a little applique or something. We can add that later. Okay, so let's see what else we have. We have this piece. I'll just cut a piece of this off. I might use a little bit of this glue just because I don't want it going through. This time I really did pull from my scrap drawer, you guys, so Let's see we can just cover that up like that. Let's add a piece of this. I think this was a doily. And depending if you're going to sew it, um, you know, you definitely don't need to add as much glue if you're going to sew it. Actually, let me move that over a little. I like it to hang over just a little. So it's kind of like collaging, but with um, fabric pieces, you know, or lace pieces that you have left over. I 
think I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. I don't know if that will look bad. That should be okay. Just gonna take this piece off right here. So I hope you guys are doing well. Mother's Day weekend is coming up and um, I still don't know what I'm getting my mom. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know. She's not a crafty person. So last year I made her a journal. She does use it, she says. So that's good for like her Bible studies and stuff. So that's kind of cool. I'm glad she's doing that. Let's see. This one's pretty old. I think I might use this over here. This looks super vintage. Get it stuck down here. Trying to cover that like raw edge there of that one because it looks really harsh. And let's see how that works. I put some of these silicone things in my uh, Amazon list. I got this one from Becky Schwartzlander. She had sold on somebody's channel and I was like, oh, been meaning to get those. So I figured while she had them, I'd just grab it. This might be the back actually. Are you kidding me? All that and that was the back. All right, let's start over. Guess it wouldn't really matter all that much, but. Oh, my hands are gluey. I am going to use this bit here.
see, so that's gonna go like that. Boy, does that look definitely. Isn't that cute though? I mean, even though it's a bunch of scraps, it just looks super deeper. going for it. I'm not even thinking about it too much. Somebody crocheted this. So cute. Little leaf. Okay, I'm going for it. Now under here needs a little something because you can see the paper and I don't like that. So look, I got this little piece of lace here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. All right, what else do we have over here? What can I put here? This thing, I have no idea where this came from, but it was in my scrap drawer. So I'm thinking I'm going to put it right there. I think I need to hot glue that. Came off of maybe packaging or something that somebody sent, and I was like, ooh, that's cute. need something here. Hmm. What else do I have over here? Not much left. How about something like this? This is probably going to need to be glued on. I think I'll just take this back lace off here. I'll just use that.
All right, so we have a little scrappy envelope here. Isn't that crazy how cute that looks, even though it's just a bunch of scraps? <laughs> I still am not 100% sure about how I'm going to do that, but we... Isn't that adorbs? Oh my gosh. All right, so I'm going to go ahead... I didn't fully glue that, but I'll go ahead and glue that shut here. And then I'll go ahead and glue this one. Because I don't think I'm going to sew this one since I'm on the with you guys. Super cute. And you can add, you know, like a pretty piece of applique there. Or something like that. That one might be much uh, too white. Flowers. Let's see what else I can do. Okay, I have this pretty trim. I'm gonna cut that. It's from Crafty Me Shop, of course. She's got gorgeous stuff. Let me cut this off. Cover that up. Let me see. Will this be okay? Hmm. What if I brought this down a little bit? There we go. Maybe like that. I think I might do like a little bow there. Oh, this hot glue strings. Put a little bit of this here. There we go. Just as like a little dangle. And there we go. We have our little 
envelope and I wanted to put a couple of these little pictures on the back because these look super cute. Let's see, which one would I like to use? I love all of these, so it's gonna be tough. I think the shoes and Oh, the pearls are so cute. Do something like that. I think maybe like in a little pocket. So let's see, we kind of need a little pocket. What could we use for a little pocket? Ooh, I know what we can use for a pocket. We'll use one of these. Use this one. Let's see if that works. We'll see. I don't know how this speak French. Monsieur. <laughs> Forgive me if I probably butchering that. <coughs> Goodness. Need some water. A little. Okay, wouldn't that be cute there? And then we can just tuck these in. Little belly band. All right, so I'm just gonna glue the sides. And then we can tuck these cuties in. I think I want to... Hmm. Let's do this. Let's cut this little Paris out. And then I'm going to, oh, that might cut it. Let me just cut this part off. Right, and if I put it right on the bottom, then my goodies won't fall out. All right, so just a tiny bit of glue to go right there on the bottom. Come on. Okay, and then look, and it won't come out. Okay, so my little tuck spot there. That is so cute. And then you can add dangle beads or anything you want like that. 
And then inside, we can add some of these beautiful pictures of well, this. Yeah, this size will fit in there. I love this one. That one in there. And let's see. What did the shoes? I could do this one. All right. All right, guys. So um, there you go. That is the envelope I made today pretty different from yesterday but same idea and there you go you got a little journal see now if you had like a little stack of these right you could do either a bigger one or one in between the size and then maybe a tiny one and then you can stack them and what a pretty display right so Doreen I know she was going to do that on her um, in her secretary desk so uh, and I remember uh, Sierra was telling me uh, that she was going to do like a collage master board with lace so I was like why don't I do that but with envelopes and so both of them kind of inspired me to do to do this so thank you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this little video of how I put these together Thanks so much for stopping by and please go check out Sam Pool Designs for her beautiful digitals. And I will talk to you again real soon. Bye for now.